I would like to see what you have in... I can get you that one easy. Done for now. I'm off. Be well, friend. Be well, my friend. Let's go. Can't raise the sail here. Let's have a song. You Salskulls got a story. Sail out! The first day defending the walls of Grantbridge, my duty was defense. I had asked for this task myself. As I patrolled the walls, I sang and banged my shield against the ribs of the walls. I woke half the camp with my wailing. I sang from the Eddas as Galen, Leaf and Soma threw rocks at me. They thought me too frivolous. Until the day I caught a spy. Some filthy shadow walker trying to rob us of what only Loki knows. Galen killed him before he could be tried. My point is, always be loud. Act a fool. Be a nuisance. It is your greatest defense. For the less your enemy thinks of you, the more he thinks you a fool, the more likely he is to make a grave error. We are here to stay, are we not? Heed my advice, and you will live a long, long time. <laughs> Take the mouse down! Raise the mast! Run up the sail! you're doing. Sail! Catch the wind!
the sail in! Dock the ship here! Won't be gentle if they spot me. These soldiers are tightly wound. What do you see, Sunan? An alehouse. This must be it. Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. I'm looking for two men. Not locals. A Norse and an Arab. The fellas the soldiers came after. If I were you, friend, I'd keep mum about them. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free, and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. Sunen, guide me. like a fish house. Good spot to hide. <gasps> Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. <sighs> we could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide-and-fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties.
It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with the promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Gidrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother! Our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from us. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia and all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. moment. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich. Lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy-ass bastard, Alfred. We won't have it. Lady, there is no need for slaughter. We all want peace for Oxen for Tsire. Can we find some agreement? You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, 
Choose your next words with care, for you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you correct? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. The Shreddles of the What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? You're one too, brother. Desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Gidrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Gidrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk with... Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Aver. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Bassam spoke of? An ally, Aver. A most important ally. A holy woman betrayed in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Aver. My heart's alight with the fuel of battlefire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England? What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you may take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. Show me. There. No time yet. They're holding 
the trials just ahead. My blade is thirsty, friends. Shall we roll in like three barrels of fire? No. We must be careful. Do not let the... They're about to execute the prisoners. These subjects of the Lady Eadwin have betrayed their oaths to the Shire. Not true. Lady Silence. Eadwin is behind the Shire. They shat stand trail. accused and are guilty of spreading Lady calumny Eadwin, against our sainted Lady Eadwin and engaging in sedition and general disreputable acts. Take shite! Each shall be called to confess his perfidy. Confession grants a told death. Failure to confess earns a disgraceful death. I should be cautious around here. Grant, I stand innocent. Do you confess to cravenly plotting to betray Lady Edwin? My father, his father, and his father's father all fall for Mercia. <laughs> Cage open, would you? Out of options, dog. I'll snap your spine. Cage open, would you? Keithrid, send me. Let's get away from this place. Talk safely over there. We fought with our Weasley elder.
with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a madwoman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. No soldiers here now. Giedrich has cleared them all out. Shame that prisoner got a spear into She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Keatrich. My axe is yours. 
My brothers too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could chip away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. One triple single guard is plenty for me.
I should not be seen in this area. Show me what lies ahead. Near an old harbor. This is the camp. How do we charm her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question, she'll answer. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albany's Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Aver. There was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? Very little. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts.
Thing. It's a bit like our old ways, isn't it? Even my mum's mum disappears into the woods out back on special nights. Go, Sunan. <clears throat> like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce a fierce plant. See beyond. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic. Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend. Take the key. 
and depart with your strange friend. Praise the Lord of the Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. <laughs> How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth. One of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory. About defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade the stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eber. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? I need to explore and get my bearings. I'll return when I can. You are my deliverer. I will await your return.
Bedouin's men, they're after us. You there, what's wrong? Here they come! Quick men, or they'll wipe us out! Christ is surely with us! <laughs> This place is heavily guarded. your back.
Folke. Are you now prepared to see the stone? I'm not yet familiar with this area. I'll come back. We will wait. Sweet milk. Folke. Are you now prepared to see the stone? Yes. Let us go see the slab of rock. You may find the stone more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. this tower a ruin from england's roman past my acolyte found it abandoned and derelict he took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned he was a priest he was and he is the bishops of england are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess Ransacked from floor to roof. Bassam, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I am. This is him, your acolyte, Paul. My dearest. as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We will find this stone, wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor and first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes. 
and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade that stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Hey, ah! No! Cut them down! Ah! Leave that alive! Ava, are you mad? Edwin, freeze. We had our chance! We I will not forget. Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Bessem. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Giedrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making.
Edwin's defenses have been weakened. But I could do more before joining Fulke.
What see you, old friend? <laughs> 